Hey there, welcome to my curls. Y'all, it is nighttime. It is 10 o'clock at night, and my husband is in the living room binge watching his favorite Netflix show that just came out with a new series. So I'm gonna go to bed. And I get a lot of questions about my skincare routine. How do I take care of my skin? And so I thought this is the perfect time for you all to get ready for bed with me. I'm gonna show you what I do when I get ready for bed, the products I use on my face, what I do to take care of my skin, and I have a pretty simple skincare routine, so I'm gonna share that with you now. So let's head into the bathroom and get ready for bed, because I am sleepy. Episode, so I'm gonna get ready for bed. So I thought I would share that with you. This is my nighttime routine, my skincare routine, and how I get ready for bed. And honestly, I have a super simple, like nighttime skincare routine. I only use three products in addition to flossing my teeth and brushing my teeth. So I love my products. I've been using two of the three products for a very long time. I love them. I cannot give them up. And then I have one product that's fairly new to my routine. I talked about it in my empties video, which I'll link right up here if you want to see that. It's a product that I've started using that takes off my makeup before I cleanse my face, and I really, really am liking it. So I'm going to show it to you in this video, and kind of this is going to be a review of that product. I, I can just kind of wrap it all into one thing. And yeah, so let's do it. I've got on my jammies, clearly. First, I gotta floss my teeth, and then I gotta, I gotta brush my teeth, and then we'll get going on my face. And I know that you all do not care about watching me floss or brush my teeth, so I'm gonna speed through it super quick. Hold. First thing I need is one of my little headbands. I wanna get the hair out of my face, and then I need my silk scrunchie. I'm just gonna pull my hair back. And I always pull my hair back before I brush my teeth. I know that's, I don't know why, but I do. And then I put on my headband. Okay. Oh, that's not great, but we're, we're gonna go with it. <laughs> I'm gonna brush my teeth. This is my favorite toothpaste, Crest 3D White Radiant Mint Toothpaste. I don't have a clean washcloth. I have to go upstairs and get one. I'll be right back. Okay, now, found a washcloth. So, I, first thing I'm gonna do is take off my makeup. And this is the new product that I told you all about. It is called Clinique Take Off the Day. And I'm not sure when this came out. I've been aware of it for probably two years. And my oldest daughter, Kendall, got some of this. And when she was home, I used it. Or I think we were on a trip somewhere. And I used it and I really, really liked it. But I was only able to use it for a couple days. And so when I ran out of the other makeup remover that I was using that I did not love, I decided to buy this. I've been using it about three months. I use it every single night. And I really, really am enjoying it. So let me show you how this works. Take off this lid and it's a tub. It's like a, like a balm sort of, and it's super weird. It's like nothing I've ever used before, but you're gonna get this on your fingers. You're gonna rub your fingers in it like this and it just gets like a greasy residue on your hands and you're going to rub it on your face. Now you feel like it's not doing anything, but it, it is. You just rub it in. You don't have to be tough about it. 
and it just releases the makeup from your skin. Now here's where it gets weird. You all can tell how many times I've had to put my hands in the tub in order to do my face. So I always do my eyes last because my eyes get eyeshadow on my fingers. And then I just rub, make sure I'm rubbing it into my eyelashes gently because I wanna get that mascara off. Okay, you can see all the makeup that it got loose when I did that. So, my hands are covered in this stuff. But the one negative I have found about this, and the only one, I think it does a fantastic job of releasing the makeup from my face. You can see, can you see, like the makeup kind of residue in here because I have to put my hands on my face and back in here the makeup gets on my hands and then I'm rubbing it around in here and it just kind of gets a makeup residue inside of here there is no way to get all that you need or I can't on one swipe of my hands in order to do my face I have to go back to this tub like you saw about five times in order to be able to rub it around my whole face. And so that really is my one negative, the fact that I'm getting makeup in here. But you can see how much is gone. And like I said, I've been using this for three months. So this tub is gonna last me a very, very long time. And I wanna say it was like $19 maybe which is a huge savings compared to the little makeup towelettes that I was using, which were five or six dollars for 25 towelettes. That was crazy. So, okay, now that I've got all my makeup um, loose, now I'm gonna wash my face. And I, again, use another Clinique product, the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap. And I use the mild one. I have been using this since I was probably in my 20s, and I really, really like this stuff. Any product that I've tried to use, I just never loved. I keep coming back to this one. And I don't know why I started using the mild version, but that's just what I've always done, and I really like it. So now, I'm gonna wash my face. Okay, that was weird, y'all being in the bathroom with me like up in my face like that. But I just kind of have a routine. I rub in the soap and then I splash my face with water five times and it's always five times. I read somewhere years ago that it takes five splashes to wash off all of the product. Any more than that dries your face out. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just kind of what I've always done. And then I take my washcloth and I just give it a wipe. Make sure that everything came off. And it did. My face is perfectly clean. So this product I am loving. The Clinique Take Off the Day. It just it just feels like it melts all of the makeup that is on my face, including the mascara. I don't wear waterproof mascara, but this Take Off the Day product just dissolves and kind of melts everything on my face. I feel like this product just does a really good job. And then the Clinique soap, I just love. I've always used it and I just love it in the mild. There is a regular version. Don't really know the difference. I just always use mild and I use one pump a night. I don't wash my face during the day at all. Um, this is the only time that I actually put a cleanser on my face is at night. So now that my face is clean and dry, let me show you my favorite product. 
first of all, I gotta get Aquaphor on my lips. My lips are dry, I brush my teeth, it's killing me. So let me get my Aquaphor on here. Oh, so much better. Okay, now, you all that have chapstick addictions, you feel me. The next thing I do is my eye drops. I use Refresh Tears Lubricating Eye Drops. It just keeps my eyes moist during the night. We sleep with a ceiling fan in our bedroom. My optometrist says that dries out my eyes, and I believe her. As I've gotten older, I've had a really I've had a real problem with dry eyes. It's affecting my vision. My eyes just feel grainy. And this, these eye drops have been fantastic. So after I wash my face and before I put on my moisturizer, I always put in eye drops. So just one drop. And it kind of gives me a little bit of a blurry vision for a second because they are lubricating there's a little bit of oil in there and it just tends to stay in my eyes my favorite moisturizer ol henriksen sheer transformation perfecting moisturizer y'all this is expensive i know this i am using a oh, i can't see it this is a three ounce container and it costs like 50 to 60 dollars and this is the most expensive product that i use ever but it is so worth it and i only use a dab i'm about out y'all this is gonna this is gonna show up in my spring empties video but this i don't like a moisturizer that, that stays on my face that i can feel I know that's weird, but I want a moisturizer that my skin is going to soak in and doesn't leave like a greasy residue on my face. And this is perfection. So I just do a dab right there. I put it on my forehead and then I just rub it in. It is so light. My skin just soaks it right up. And then I go back and I get another dab and I put it right here in the corner of my eyes. I don't use an eye cream specifically. I've never found one that I liked. And so this is so light, I just can put it under my eyes and it's perfect. Now, I get really, really dry skin right in here. And most other moisturizers, if I put it on my nose area, it makes my nose oily which is weird because you would think my skin would soak it in, but the old Henriksen is perfect. I can put another dab right in here on my nose. So let me show you one more time. Clinique, take off the day, followed by Clinique, liquid facial soap in a mild, followed by old Henriksen sheer transformation. So that's my skincare. Of course, I cannot forget my Aquaphor and my Refresh Tears eye drops. Those are all of the products that I use. So the last thing I have to do is put my hair up at a pineapple and I can get under the covers. So in order to have the same hair in the morning that I have tonight, I have to make sure that my hair is properly put up and always, always, always in a silk scrunchie. If I use one of these old cotton scrunchies, it pulls my hair. It's gonna make my hair stringy and frizzy and in the morning, I am not gonna be able to do anything with this hair. So all I wanna do is ever so lightly, put it up really high on top of my head and before, when I was washing my face, I had the scrunchie in there two times so that it would stay put. See, I'm not disturbing anything. I'm just going to put this in here really loose. Isn't that nice? One time, and I'm going to get in bed, and it'll stay there all night. So let's head that way. Okay, let's get in bed. So Randy is still watching Ozark in the other room. Maxie is in there with them, and I'm, I'm guessing Pollux is too, because they're not in here with me. 
but I'm going to pull back the covers. Y'all can tell I've got my hair and my pineapple, which kind of fell down when I walked this way. I'm going to have to fix that. And let me show you something. My silk pillowcase. Silk pillowcase is so important. It is good for your skin. It is good for your hair. And I sleep on a silk pillowcase every single night. And look here. So does Randy. He he got a silk pillowcase for Christmas. Brecken has a silk pillowcase. Kendall has a silk pillowcase. And I even sent one to her boyfriend for Christmas. Oh, look who just walked in. We were just talking about you. <laughs> Apparently Ozark is over, y'all. Randy's in here and he rolled his eyes when he walked in and I was talking to you all. So I'm gonna go to bed. Thanks for joining me on my skincare routine, my nighttime routine, and I'll see you in the morning.